Here's what movies the Explosion Network is looking forward to in October. <gasps> On October 3rd, Joker releases in cinemas. Director Todd Phillips' love letter to Martin Scorsese is set to be the most controversial film of the year. This origin story for the classic Batman villain has already won the Golden Lion at the Venice Film Festival and Joaquin Phoenix's performance as a man slowly descending into madness is already drawing Oscar buzz. Whether the general audience is able to stomach it is something we're keen to find out. I didn't know if I even really existed. But I do. In Tall Grass is based on the novella by Stephen King and Joe Hill. This freaky story takes place inside a field of tall grass, believe it or not, with several characters trapped inside, unable to escape no matter how far they run in any direction, it's sure to be a scary tale. Netflix has had great success adapting several Stephen King stories so far, including 1922 and Gerald's Game, so hopefully this will live up to the same freaky quality. Name one thing in here that does. Tell me something. On October 10th, we get Gemini Man. Henry Brogan is an elite assassin who becomes the target of a mysterious operative who can seemingly predict his every move. To his horror, he soon learns that the man who's trying to kill him is a younger, faster cloned version of himself. Yes, is young Will Smith versus old Will Smith as directed by Academy Award winning director Ang Lee in his first action film since Hulk in 2003. This film on paper has the potential to be great or a train wreck, so we're really looking forward to which one it is. You made a choice to do this to me. This thing that you're struggling with is fear. Embrace it and then overcome it. I just want to take care of my grandma, maybe go shopping every once in a while. Jennifer Lopez leads a group of strip club employees to steal from their Wall Street clientele in Hustlers. It's based on the New York Magazine article, and the trailer sold me the first time I watched it. A film about some badass females turning the table on some shitty dudes, written and directed by a female. Sign me up. We didn't do anything wrong. You know, Tony wouldn't let this happen. I'm going to text him. Who gave her her phone back? I don't know what to tell you. I ain't said like 500 times already. I have no idea where he is. Don't know where he's headed either. There's not well, much known about El Camino, a Breaking Bad movie. It was announced out of the blue, filmed in secret. And at the moment, truly, I hope they don't even drop another trailer for it until after the movie is released. I love Breaking Bad. It's one of the greatest TV shows of all time. And the movie is going to give Jesse Pinkman the screen time to deal with the trauma he went through on a TV show. And I cannot wait. Tell you, no way I'm helping you people put Jesse Pinkman back inside a cage. October 17th, we get Zombieland Double Tap. Ten years after the original, we are getting a Zombieland sequel that will see Columbus, Tallahassee, Wichita, and Little Rock move to the American heartland and face off against evolved zombies, fellow survivors, and deal with the growing pains of their snarky makeshift family. The chemistry between the four leads was a huge factor in why the original film worked, so hopefully they've been able to recapture the magic after all these years. I don't like you at all. I think you double parked. <laughs> or more perpendicular parked. Hope we don't get a ticket. What is going on here? What? Hello, everyone. Talk. Talk fast. There hasn't been a good Terminator movie in 28 years, but hopefully Dark Fate can turn those things around. With Linda Hamilton back as Sarah Connor and looking badass, things are looking hopeful. This is being made as a direct sequel to Terminator 2 Judgment Day. So forget about every Terminator film post. T2, forget about T3, forget about Genesis, all of that, all of your focus should be set on Terminator Dark Fate. 